What's up guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Now, this video is not gonna be long at all. I'm just gonna be answering a couple of you guys' questions. I've been seeing a lot of the repetitive questions, so I'm just gonna answer them in this video. Majority of them were about my hair and about PT. So, let's just get into it. First, we're gonna talk about my hair and my hairstyles during BMT. Now, I told you guys that I didn't wash my hair at all, not even once while I was at BMT. Is this a good angle looking up at me or should I bring it down? So I told you guys that I didn't wash my hair at all during BMT because I just was not about to do that. It was gonna take way too long and I don't think my hair would have turned out the way that I wanted it. And plus my hair was blow dry when I got to BMT and there was gonna be no way for me to blow dry it, you know, while I was in training. Therefore, I didn't wash it. So you guys are wondering like what was the style that I maintained while I was at BMT because I did change it up a little bit but I just never washed my hair so the styles that i had were i started off with two french braids just going back and i'll show you guys picture because i wore it before i left and i practiced that style and i maintained it and see how i was going to be able to maintain it prior to going to bmt so one week i would see how long if it would last for a whole week or if i would need to redo it and so forth so when i got to bmt i did redo my braids after the first week so on like that following sunday I was able to redo my braids and the products that I used were gel and combs and brushes and bobby pins. Literally that's it. And then after a couple weeks passed, I wanted to kind of switch it up so I did the braids and then I did two puffs. And then when we got our OCPs, I couldn't do the two puffs so I would just do the little bun in the back and then I did like um, a little braid going down and I just combed my hair back and put it into a like little bun. So I really switched it up a lot, but I did all of this the night before we had to go somewhere because you always have the most time either at night or on your Sundays. So take that into consideration. You will have time to do your hair, just I didn't want to wash it at BMT. So I did French braids, you can do French braids. And also, as you guys can see, my hair is short. I just recently trimmed it. So yeah, my hair is short and it is 4C. So you kind of see my dilemma here. I didn't want to wash it and then have it too short to style and not look good and just too long to be out and about. So I just kept it simple with the French braids. Um, you can do cornrows. Cornrows are definitely a good go-to hairstyle while you're at BMT. Also, quick PSA, learn how to braid prior to going into BMT because me personally, I've only did two people's heads while I was in BMT, but I didn't even like doing that because just learn how to do it because you're gonna need your hair braided or you're gonna want your hair braided some people might not feel like it just be considerate like you know do your own hair you know period you can do a braid down the middle braids going on the side put them into a little bun or you can like just twist them up those are the styles that i have very simple mainly those two cornrows i would like put a side part right here sometimes and then braid it or like side part right here or just down the middle you know very very simple braiding i'm used to doing my hair so it was no issue for me and you have time to do it on sundays you may look a little rough but it's not nobody cares about that i do recommend getting braids though but like get them done the day before you leave for bnt because it's gonna start puffing up and it's just gonna start doing the braid thing and make sure you bring your bonnet make sure you wrap your hair please because then it's just gonna be looking rough and rough and rough so uh, i think that's all i have to say for the hair um just know how to do your hair basically the main PT questions I was getting was how to prepare for BMT and like if it was hard and what did PT entail and do you have to be fit going into BMT? Um, the question, I mean the answer to that is be fit to a degree. Like don't just come in there not knowing anything. Like, well let me just tell you guys what I did. You guys saw my videos that I posted, my workout videos prior to going into BMT. So I would definitely, you know, watch those if you want, but the best way to prepare yourself for me, what I did, was I did at least 10 push-ups a day because I knew my upper body was my worst area, that and running. I would run like at least a mile before when I went to BMT, but I wasn't like working hard on it. I wasn't pushing myself because I was like, maybe it's going to be easy when I get there. It was not easy. Um, my running was the worst um, at BMT. But my push-ups and my sit-ups were pretty pretty good. Um, they'll train you on everything, so you do not need to go into BMT worried that 
you're not gonna pass your PT test because they will get you to where you need to be. That's the least of your worries. But definitely come in there knowing a couple things, having a little bit of strength. Um, practice your sit-ups. I practice my sit-ups every day as well. I did, I did at least I did at least 20 a day, and these are the standards here. I think the mile and a half run is like 16 minutes, and then for I think for dudes it's like, like 13 minutes. And then sit-ups. Let me just look it up while I'm trying to do it off my phone. But before I show you guys the standards, which I'm sure most of you already know, um, you will get your initial PT test and that one doesn't really count to anything so like if you fail it you will be fine if you fail the second one you'll be fine but that third one you better make sure you pass okay so this is the chart that you're gonna see when you go to a bmt this is the chart that's gonna be in the day room or um on the wall somewhere so you'll be able to go by this chart but yeah for males your run time at max has to be like 13 minutes 36 seconds and your sit-ups is 42 and push-ups 33 so yeah y'all gotta work harder than this in my opinion and then females we have to do 38 sit-ups in a minute all this is within a minute as far as like sit-ups and push-ups um your push-ups you only have to do 18 so that's not bad at all and then the minutes how long you have to do your mile and a half is 16 minutes and 22 seconds my last pt test that i did was 16 minutes and 21 seconds so i really cut it cut it sharp with that um yeah so it's really not that hard um your initial pt test like i said you can it's just to see where you are so that you're not just you're going to be thrown into it but just to see what it's like definitely push yourself in all of your pt days on all your run days because that will help you for sure for sure for sure on your actual pt day like it'll push you to do good it'll push you to just not give up and just push out as many push-ups and push out as many sit-ups and run as long as you can on your PT test day. So PT is definitely not something that you should be afraid of. You're gonna be pretty much doing PT every day and running upstairs with all of the stuff that you have to carry. Like, you will be prepared for it, but definitely prior to going to BMT, start hitting up a track and just run for like, I would say run for, start running for 10 minutes straight nonstop and not like sprinting, like jogging and like gradually picking up pace. And if you do feel like your legs are gonna give out or something, just slow down, but don't stop running. Yeah, and they will also teach you breathing techniques so you don't have to worry about that. And you can ask as many questions as you want when you get the breakdown of how PT is gonna go. All throughout BMT, you're gonna ask as many questions as you can. They're not just gonna throw you into the fire pit and you're just gonna be looking crazy. So I guess we can just talk, talk about PT days so you have um strength days and you have cit days i didn't really understand that like to a t so you'll pretty much understand that when you get there but you're you're basically gonna do high intensity training intervals or like interval training some like hit workouts basically so it's gonna take like you're gonna be working out and you're gonna do 30 seconds break in between those sets and i don't know how to describe it but don't worry about PT if that's something that you're worried about as far as going to the Air Force. Like, I was fit going into it, but just not, I didn't have my runs down and my push-ups. Like, my run time, my initial run time was 19 minutes for a mile and a half. And my push-ups, I did great because I trained myself every day. 10 a day, that, that works for sure. So, like, you do 5 in the morning and then 5 at night, you will get to where you need to be. Sooner or later, you're going to be doing 10 in the morning and 10 at night. So... PT was nothing you have to worry about. So yeah, like I said, very quick video. Um, I'm gonna drop another video right after this one and it's gonna be like a series of me watching different um, BMTs for all the branches. And I'm also gonna do Air Force as well to compare it to my experience. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to leave a like. Comment down below any video suggestions you guys may have. And, yeah.